Hey all, it's Brian from iSpring, and in this video I'm going to show you how to get started with iSpring TalkMaster. It's a great tool for creating conversation simulations that help your employees to get used to communicating with clients. First, I'm going to show you what a finished simulation looks like by doing a quick preview. The realistic characters, backgrounds, and voiceovers immerse the learner in a scenario where their choices have real consequences. Now let's see how to make it. When you start a new dialog simulation, you will see a black background where you can add scenes. Start creating a simulation by clicking New Scene. A scene consists of a character's speech and the user's possible replies. But first, let's click here to choose a character from the character library. Talkmaster comes with a built in library of 20 characters, but if you want even more options, you can use the content library. The character library is full of people on the phone. So I'll just pick this guy right here. Now let's go over here to the background tab. Again, you're provided with a nice selection of built-in backgrounds, but the content library offers you much more. I'll just pick a nice domestic location to represent the client's home. Now that we've selected a character and background, let's go back and construct our simulation. I'll start by adding the client speech right up here. Down here I have the option to give the user some reply choices or a feedback message. When you provide a feedback message there will be no reply choices, just a continue button which you can link to any other scene. In this case let's give the user three different answer choices. We can connect them with new scenes simply by dragging the link icons away from the scene dialog. This way you can create complex branch scenarios to reflect the types of situations your users may encounter. In each new scene, you can add appropriate responses from the character or feedback messages to match the user's reply choices. You can also modify the emotion of the character to reflect the answer the user chose. You can also add voiceovers to make your conversation simulations more realistic and engaging. Once you've created a simulation, click voiceover on the Talkmaster toolbar to see a list of your scenes in the dialog text. For each individual scene, it's easy to record or import audio. When you're ready to preview your scenario, click the Preview button on the toolbar. You can also preview an individual scene by clicking the Play button in its edit box. When you open TalkMaster via iSpring Suite, you can either insert a scenario on a PowerPoint slide with this button, or publish it as a standalone course from the file menu. The preview window shows you how it will fit on a desktop or laptop, tablet, or smartphone, and now it's ready for sharing online and uploading to an LMS. This is also a good opportunity to give your simulation a final quality check. Meet John Richardson. This morning he checked the balance on his credit card.